Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today we'll be looking at this Akatsuki the non-grade 1 to 100 by Kao Kao or Titi Hongi model and um, before I begin this unboxing video I, I just want to quickly say that I'm really sorry that um, for the past month or few weeks that I've been um, not inactive and replied to all your comments because I've had my sort of like papers and then sort of caught up with life just a bit and took a break and did not come back but after that taking a long break I can tell you now I'm fully refreshed and I'm back and just want to say that the Dragon Momoko here the Strike Freedom here it's almost done I'm just left with the the backpack and then the review should be out um, this week or latest I promise you it will be on it will be out on Monday or Tuesday. So yeah, without further ado, now let's take a look back on this Akatsuki kit. So this kit was released, um, Bandai version, it was released back in March 2007. But I think the Titi Hongli uh, model got a later release. As far as I know, the market actually, the people that I know that did this review, is actually, they actually did it in 2010 or 2011, so I think it should be, it came out around there as well. And of course, TT Hongli version have the silver version. So I might be getting that as well as Bandai do not have the silver version of the Akatsuki. And of course, Dragon Momoko's Akatsuki, I will be getting that as well. Uh, I remember someone asking me to do a review on that. So yeah, I'll be doing those, but um, the Dragon Momoko one will have to wait because it's a little bit more pricey compared to the both of them. So yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at this box. So as you guys can see, compared to the other boxes, um, this is, I, I would expect this box to be a little bit bigger, but surprisingly, as you guys can see, it can fit the whole box into the camera here. So that's good. So yeah, now let's take a look below here. It's just say Akatsuki. And of course, it was piloted by two different pilots. One it's um, Kagali and the other one it, it was uh, Mula Flaga at the final battle at the space. So let me hold up here. So yeah, basically you just see this the backpack, the Owashi backpack for first. Then now here's at the back here, you see can here you can switch. To be honest, I still think this this backpack looks the best. This the the other Owashi and forgotten what's it what's the name. This is just like the Ale Strike pack, so yeah, nothing much. Then here you guys can see the stickers already. Oh yeah, it's called Owashi and Shira Shiranui pack. So yeah, I think this backpack is the best of all. I'm not going to show the top there because it's basically just the same. But as I turn, yeah, you guys can just see Akatsuki. And then now, here you guys can see, this is how it will look like without the backpack. Next year, it comes with the stand. I'm not sure if this model comes with the stand. We'd we'll have to take a look at that later on. Here you can see just the articulations and the backpack. So yeah, that's it. Now let's bust open. Oops, move the camera. Now let's open it. I've actually just read the manual. I've not count parts for this kit. So yeah. Now here is nice, you guys can see the bling bling here. So as always, let me take open all of these parts first, then we'll take a look at the manual last. So yeah, now all the plastic is removed. Now let me just show you the gold color part first, since usually that will be the last thing that you will be put in. So yeah, now here, the very first part, this should be the thrusters for the back of the leg. As you guys can see, it's more of like a darker gold, I would say. So yeah, nothing to show. Then now, the next piece here is the shield. As always, looks great. It's very reflective. You guys can see my camera and stuff, the black part there. And yeah, basically, are there any details to show you guys? Not really, but the gold, actually, it's not really that great. You guys can see, it's really uneven. So yeah, let's see how it will look once you're fixed with everything. And right now here, it's the body parts. 
you guys can see here again there's nothing let me maybe just show you guys the body here again not much to say just a normal part here so yeah another go part down and now here another part now here this should be the one of the backpack it should this should be the oashi pack if i'm not mistaken so yeah basically just like that so maybe just a little detail sh to show you guys here again can't really say much about it until i really fix it up then i can relatively certain to tell you guys okay here's the wee fin so maybe you guys want to take a look so yeah again you guys can i camera here it kind of shows like kind of dark but i can tell you it's actually not the black color line it's actually not that dark so yeah next here we have another pack but you guys can see here uh, still can't show focus come on okay what i want to show is here there's actually scratches over here not sure you guys can yeah here i can see better got scratches so yeah i mean you would expect um um Kao Kao last time to not have a proper qc a quality control so yeah anyway doesn't matter much to me so yeah here are all the what i call that all the beams where where the backpack will shoot out so yeah basically all the go parts here are done so now we take a look at all the inner frame etc so first let me show you guys here there is come with a backpack i mean the stand i'm sorry my words my god so yeah looks looks very solid so that's good let's put it aside since i'll be fixing that first next show you guys here oh my god the plastic next here we have the weapons not much detail maybe here the guns you want to see the beam rifle so yeah you guys can see it's not bad quite quite nicely done so yeah next here the beam saber this beam saber actually looks really good have this like that sort of like a sort of like sort of like a sword like that a saber no and then here of course the two feet again nothing much to show maybe here again just a little detail if you guys want to know so then here polycaps as usual you will need to send down most of it so i will i will have to be cautious about that and then this final piece here and then i have one piece fallen off that sucks so yeah basically this the inner frame here obviously you can see the legs the legs part and the part that fell off is of course the inner frame for the legs here just fell off so yeah put this here and then here the final part is the another inner frame this should be the lower body part you can see the base for the shield here so yeah that's it a very little parts i would say so yeah now we focus on the manual so yeah now we have the manual over here so basically you just say owashi pack or the shiranui pack so as always the old kao kao have the english translated one so if you guys want to read you guys can pause so yeah i'm moving on next year you can see the part counts there are a total of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 parts so yeah and then here as always you have the upper body fix first looks pretty quickly you can fix it so that's good and here is, it took just four pages to fix the upper body and the lower body so yeah expect it to quickly done 
And here it just shows you the mecha design. Here, of course, is the first launch. It shows before Kagali's father died, if I'm not mistaken. Oh wait, Kagali's father actually died already. It's where introduced to Kagali. So, yeah, this kid been out. I mean, the seed destiny been out for quite some time. So, sorry, if my information is not that good. So yeah, anyway, here's just how you put the backpack at all. Next here, just how you can manual the Owashi or the Shiranui pack. And then, at the back here is just basically the remaining parts here. And then, right here, the ending here just shows you the color and water decal here. The decal sheet, let me just focus. Yeah, just around here. So, yeah, until here is just some English wordings as well. So guys, if you guys want to pause and read, you guys can do so. And then here, just some English wording as well. Here, and then at the bottom here. And then the side here. Here it shows it's coming out, but you of course need a rod to do that. So yeah, maybe if my um, Dragon Momoko have extra or the Tapan have extra, I will try to put on. But anyway, that's it for this unboxing video. So, I expect this video out after my review on the Dragon Momoko Strike Freedom. As I said, it will be out very soon. As you guys can see here, it's almost complete. So, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, sort of uh, update and unboxing video. I hope you guys um, find it informative. If you guys find it informative, please drop a like down below. And if you guys have any question, please do not forget to comment down below. I will, I will of course read it and I'll reply it to all the comments that was left a few months back. I will do my best to reply as soon as possible. So yeah, until then, I see you guys soon in my next Gumpla video.